That's me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, no, no, Greg's just pulling it up. I'm just pulling it up. It was uh, unfortunately. It's blue car. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nine, 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 well, um, as you know, I was asked by the uh, by the board to give an update on the actions that resulted from town meeting and. Happily, we left town meeting with a balanced budget. As the chairman mentioned, we had to do some scrambling to get there, but we are there. Um, there are a couple of things that, uh, that are on the list for consideration that involve the special town meeting. The first is the quorum requirement. I did speak with the town clerk, and as you know, there is a quorum requirement of 150 residents, which is in the town bylaws. Um, if the board wishes to consider that, modifying or eliminating the quorum requirement, the recommendation is the board do so for the October town meeting, which would then allow the change in the bylaw to become effective for the June 2013 town meeting. That timing is really relevant if the board wishes to look at it, and it requires simply a vote of town meeting to accomplish it. Second item is, um, a number of years ago, we proceeded with only one town meeting. So there was simply an annual town meeting which incorporated the current year's business and the next fiscal year's business. About well, five years ago, the Department of Revenue um, instructed us that we needed to conduct a special within the annual, and that's where the special within the annual was, was born. Um, we've gone back, and, and the Finance Department is seeking legal opinion from the Department of Revenue on the necessity for holding a special within the annual. I think it's uh, burdensome and cumbersome um, to do that. If there's no legal requirement, I think we should really look to simply have an annual town meeting transact all of our current year business at the beginning of the meeting, and then begin with our annual town meeting uh, next fiscal year articles once all of the regular business has been conducted. So the, really the special came from the Department of Revenue. If the Department of Revenue feels that there's no legal requirement to have it, then I suggest we do away with it altogether. And thereby we would avoid any similar conflict with the quorum going forward. Mr. Ward, and if they didn't <coughs> find it necessary for whatever reason to do so, I think we should refer the issue to the state auditor's office to bring the local mandates. It would be an unfunded mandate. The state would have to pay for the special. So, Interesting, which requires separate voter registration sessions. It's, keep in mind, one of the things that the special town meeting warrant does that, that people don't realize is the booklet get, that gets publicized and sent to every resident in town. The notice requirements for a special town meeting is two weeks prior to. The notice for the annual town meeting is one week prior there too. So what we're doing is we're scrush, uh, scrambling to put together our warrant proposal, putting pressure on the Finance Committee and the Board of Selectmen for a couple of articles on a special town meeting which require advanced notice requirements. We only have an annual given a little bit more time to get notice out to the residents. More comprehensive fashion. And the notice requirement is set by oh, State sorry. Law. Oh, Mr. 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 I was just going to comment that, you know, I, I could see the DOR taking this path uh, related to, oh, now it's getting very confusion to keep one uh, fiscal year separate from the other and you know, perhaps uh, they need some suggestions on how that can be done within a single town meeting as you had said put them all in the front clearly label it these are the actions put the the totals of the changes associated with it and you know if they come back and say no we can't do it then I, I'd go to our legislators and say you know this is kind of silly and this is a way of doing it maybe some common sense could be uh, sent over to uh, the Department of Revenue. Part of the problem with putting it up front is <laughs> some local communities have a lottery, almost like a oh, yes. bingo ball, article number well, that's third, how they which you will can be first. still have a yeah, bingo ball. Four. You can still have a bingo ball. I'm just saying, but, by two. but some of their bylaws require yeah. them to reach into the hat and pull out a number. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So it generates interest, so everybody kind of hangs Are you around. Kidding? No. <laughs> yeah, I think we had a bingo ball here at one time. Yeah. yeah, I think we had it. Yeah, we did it here for a while. Maybe we'll get us more. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> doesn't work any better. Uh, uh, unless you buy uh, dinner for everybody. It didn't work any better. Yeah, with, with respect to the quorum issue, I, I, I think we uh, missed the uh, boat ourselves. In that, you know, I think we didn't give any thought to the issue of a quorum. And therefore, we didn't make a lot of noise about the need for people to be here. True. You know, and, and I think that, that you know that's part of the issue. I, you know, when you think about it, there's got to be 150 uh, volunteer committees and, and 
members, committee members in town, just them alone, you know, yeah. where, where they're actively participants of, 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 of the town, you know, you think that core would help get us over. And then we have the, the normal core of people that always go to town meeting. It shouldn't be that hard to get 150 people. I just <coughs> think we didn't <coughs> we kind of overlook the fact that that was going to be an issue. Well, I, I think, you know, uh, to our credit and to our detriment, I mean, we worked very hard to come to an agreement with the Finance Committee and the School Committee before town meeting, so that there's very little left to discuss, unless someone wants to throw a monkey wrench into the plans. You know, really, there's people that feel pretty good that it's been vetted well, and with all the public hearings we have, they feel pretty good and don't feel the need uh, to come out and advocate one way or the other, because all the advocacy has taken place in a way, in a way in advance, and everybody seems to be pretty well satisfied that we've come to a reasonable consensus on, on things and so we've done such a good job we've lulled them into complacency I guess and uh, uh, but as you say yeah, if we put the word out a little bit more maybe uh, to impress upon them that you know we can't get the regular budget done unless the specialists you know, we need 150 people we probably could have achieved our goal but yeah and you would have thought given the weather that evening but for the senior pr senior prom there was no Sporting event because the weather was so miserable in terms of the rain, so you would have thought that would have been easy parents, ability to get parents were right there. Parents uh, could have just you can understand right senior over. parents not wanting to show up at town meeting, but the rest of the community there was no outdoor sporting event that evening at all because the weather was so horrible. So, but I think you're right uh, that we need to promote it more and create an urgency. Just keep in mind again that if you wish to change the quorum, October town meeting is the uh, the proper venue. Um, Article one on the special town meeting is uh, Mr. Kelleher had asked about earlier was for transferring twenty one thousand five seventy one five seventy nine to supplement the recreation department salary account, and no immediate action on this is required. It will be addressed as part of the October town meeting and the two thousand and thirteen tax rate recap process, funded from retained earnings from within the water. To me, the recreation enterprise fund. So I would recommend that the board needn't take any action on that. Um, article number two was to fund the snow deficit. The amount was sixty-nine thousand six fifty-nine. Um, it's interesting that uh, in this case, uh, delay in this may turn out to be okay. There's a substantial reimbursement which is pending for the October two thousand eleven snowstorm. It's about eighty thousand dollars, and a significant portion of that is due to go to the Department of Public Works. If that money is received before the end of this fiscal year, then we simply will just move it right into the Department of Public Works account to secure that deficit for this year and the amount that they had expended. So it's likely that there'll be a smaller amount that will be funded at the October town meeting. And again, that funding will come from the overlay account. The appropriate actions have been taken place to preserve that overlay account through the end of the fiscal year. Board of Assessors uh, repealed their vote after town meeting and then they will re-vote it again before the October town meeting, so that's an available funding source. But again, it's possible that the amount is significantly reduced from what you see right here, depending upon the timing of the FEMA reimbursement for the October snowstorm. Right, but if it doesn't come in... If it doesn't come in, then we're going to deal with the whole thing. the same path. That we whole thing, through. yeah. But if it does come in, um, it's likely just to be a very small amount that gets presented. Do we have any sense whether it will be here for the next year? You know, Sean, it's, it's so hard to predict. My guess is it probably will be because the money has to pass through the Commonwealth, and the Commonwealth strategy is on June thirtieth that shows up. The Commonwealth will hold on to it as long as they possibly can and wire transfer it on the last day. And right, and their goal is to balance their budget, but you know they want to get it out before the next fiscal year also. So typically, you'll see it on the last day of the year. There it is, just like our uh, state fiscal. aid money, right. everything else. Um, Article three under the special town meeting was transferring 859278 um, to the debt capital stabilization fund from various sources. Um, Liz and I have identified that uh, we will be able to transfer it from free cash, and we've got our fingers crossed because it has not been certified, and it will not be certified until we close out this fiscal year in a couple of weeks and do the balance sheet. But we're estimating that there's um, 739278 which will be transferred to the Debt Capital Stabilization Fund at the October town meeting. So there's no action that's required until that point. Um, Article 4 
was to transfer our monies into the stabilization fund from residual free cash, $5,263. And we certainly hope that we will have more than that amount to be transferred into the uh, stabilization fund at October town meeting. So there'll be an additional article, and the likely funding source will be from free cash. And then the um, remaining special town meeting article was number five, and that was to transfer 52000 from the fire department budget to the ambulance reserve account. Um, <coughs> We will need to re-add this money um, into the budget um, at the October town meeting. The source of funds um, is preferably um, BLS and ALS ambulance revenues, which will be verified and confirmed going into October town meeting. But I think as the board had indicated, our commitment is to fully fund this $52,000 going forward. For a couple of other things that we did at town meeting, and uh, the board made note of it a little bit earlier, uh, the transfer of 114000 from free cash to, uh, to go to the pensions and benefits account. That account is balanced. There are no further actions that are required. And then the last item was to um, transfer $486,000 from the debt capital stabilization fund to the debt budget. Um, it virtually wipes out the balance in the debt capital stabilization fund, but we do have a funding strategy going forward. No further actions are required on that also. So. We should be okay. We will close out this fiscal year. We will close out this fiscal year with the amounts that we didn't transfer into the debt capital stabilization fund being rolled into free cash um, together with what our original estimates were on free cash. And we'll have that money available for October town meeting for this and for capital. Um, I know it's not part of my report, but um, we've also been looking at a calendar for the capital improvement plan because it's interesting that we had a a fairly, um, fairly late June town meeting, and we have a, a fairly early October town meeting. So the, the amount of time between them is kind of short. Mm -hmm. So we're working on our capital improvement plan, and we'll be distributing that at our department head meeting at the end of this month and getting in the request. Any questions about town meeting? No. no just once again, Greg, thank you. Thank you. Thank, uh, just thank you. Director. I, I have a comment that uh, I think I heard Not collected though, right? No, bill, bill, bill. Yeah, that's yeah, that's great. That's revenue we wouldn't. Is yeah. that seventy thousand over what we yes. would have collected if it was BLS? Yes. So the differential? Yes. Yes, because ALS we weren't getting anything for a very small amount. We'll see how much we get paid in it though. That's what I'm looking forward to seeing. Well, I mean, it's, it shouldn't be much different than what we get percentage-wise in the. Yep. It's a may, also may take some time to prime the pump. pump. I see what you're saying. No, it's wonderful. I'm not trying to make it a negative out of it at all. I think it's a great thing. I, I, st Mr. Briscoe? I still would like the opportunity, though, to have the ALS presented here at yeah. one of the meetings. I, I, it would be much appreciated. That will be. It that. will uh, happen in the upcoming meeting. Okay. Uh, town administrator's report? Yes, uh, I first want to thank the entire board for allowing me to serve as your town administrator for the past year since my last evaluation. Um, this year that's gone by has been one of many challenges for me, both personally and professionally. Uh, the chairman did a great job of highlighting what some of those were. Um, we lost three of our senior department heads with about 80 years of service. We also lost numerous deputies and assistants under those senior department people who left the organization. We also had one senior department head go on an extended medical leave. So um, our four most senior important parts of management left the organization on one of medical leave in the past year. So the goal, my goal has kind of changed, and then I understand that you have to be adaptable, but at a certain point the goal is to keep the train on the tracks, and I think we did a pretty good job of, of doing that. I appreciate and I respect the board's comments. Um, I'm excited about staying here. Uh, I, I look forward to my job over the next year. Uh, I look forward to working with Slackman Joe Fody, who's been elected to the board. And I also want to express my gratitude and appreciation to, uh, to Jeff Yule, who was part of the evaluation process, but isn't here this evening. So again, uh, thank you very much. I look forward to being part of the many success stories going forward over the next year. Thank you. Um, as far